ancient Indian thinkers had also given thought to Vimana Vidya. To know more about it, now we come to the presentation on the topic Ancient Indian Aviation Technology. This research is done by Captain Bodas and Professor Amiya Jadhav. Captain Bodas is a retired principal of Pilot Training Academy. Professor Amiya Jadhav is a lecturer in Swami Vivekananda College. Now I invite both the speakers to present on the topic. Namaskar, Namaskar. I said three times Namaskar just to check which correct position for me to stand in front of the mic. That's what we do in the modern aviation before we start our radios. As you have applauded for the modern aviation reference, let me open my heart a little bit. Let me open my heart a little bit and tell you, usually we pilots sit in a very small congested cockpit. Today, Madam Vaidya and Madam Mahulikar have allotted me such a big cockpit. The reference is very correct because in the real cockpit, the captain of the aeroplane sits in the left side of the cockpit. I am also standing, positioning myself in the left side. Only reference or difference is in aeroplane, the people we lead means transport from one place to another place. They sit behind me here. I'm going to take you on a flight of ancient aviation and all you passengers are sitting in front of me. So let's start the ancient aviation. To start with, we'll go into the history of aviation. History is usually official history and unofficial history. I'll not go into the details of official and unofficial history, but only say one thing, that in the official history, it is noted, or rather it is only noted that Wright brothers flew in 1904. That was the first flight of human being in this period. I said, only noted. I am not elaborating on this point. Antar sthiti chya khuna, antar nishtha zanati. Those who can read my mind, they will understand what I want to say. Now about the ancient aviation. The references of ancient aviations are in Rugved. It is presented to you on the screen, the particular karika. In that I will draw your attention to a word, samudriya. It is very rightly described the atmosphere as samudriya. Even today's meteorology says that we are at the bottom of, we are at the bottom of the loose molecules of gases which are like ocean above us. So the same terminology was used. Then my entire talk or my entire explanation is based on Maharshi Bharadwaj Vimana Samhita. It was known as actually Vimana Prakran and Maharshi Bharadwaj, as it goes in our Indian culture, that very humbly he said that before me there were six sages, namely Narayan Muni, Shaunak Muni, Garga Muni, Vachaspati, Chakrayani, and Dundinath. These six sages had written 
or rather compiled i won't say written because mind you in those days books were not written the subjects was narrated and learned by heart by the disciples so that why it was called compilation grantho so six granthas were written by six munis prior to bharadwaj rishi they had written books on aviation and next marshi bharadwaj says after studying those six sages and experimenting with the aeroplanes and giving a thought to it i am mind you the word he is saying i am he doesn't say writing he says i am telling you about the aeroplane and this is what is mentioned in samvita vadati that means marshi bharadwaj was sitting in front of his students or maybe he was standing in the workshop where the aircraft was manufactured and he was narrating the subject and that's why in this manual many places marshi bharadwaj says pick that object from your right and keep it on the top of the object on your left this is the statement this is the telling now marshi bharadwaj in the beginning he says next sutra panchat shatayani brahad viman shastra brahad viman shastra ha oh. in this the last bullet you will see a sanskrit karika we say sutra panch shatayani शताधिकरण तथा अष्टाध्याय सामुक्त अति गूढ़ मनोहर दैट मीन्स दिस टोटल विमान प्रकरण कंपराइजेस ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड गाइडलाइंस विच वै सेक्शनलाइज इंटू हंड्रेड सेक्शन्स विच वॉज दोज हंड्रेड सेक्शन्स वी आर फर्दर सेक्शनलाइज इंटू एट चैप्टर्स अनफॉर्चुनेटली ladies and gentlemen i feel unfortunately i don't know how you feel about it but only out of those 500 guidelines unfortunately only about 120 guidelines are available today next now in the modern aviation there are many 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 definitions of an aeroplane and i being in the modern aviation i knew all of them but what really excited me was the definition given by maharshi bharadwaj you see he says that aeroplane is a vehicle aeroplane is a vehicle which travels through the air from one country to another country from one continent to another continent and from one planet to another planet loka loka antar chapi you and me are very famous with parloka vas when a man expires we say parloka vasi so that loka means grah and that vehicle travels through the air and that is the most befitting most satisfying aeroplane definition i have up to this time ever read actually maharshi bharadwaj do we i called it a brahat samhita or brahat vimana samhita but originally maharshi bharadwaj called it a vimana prakranam why because that was 140th part of his total granth called yantra sarvaswa but then looking at the expanse and the boundaries and the knowledge given in that compilation people started calling it brahat vimana shastra because in today's aeroplane industry for pilots whatever the books are given 
whatever the books are given to the engineers for maintaining the aeroplane, how the metal of the aeroplane is manufactured is not given, mind you. That's a fact of life. Whereas in Maharshi Bharadwaj Samhita, manufacturing of the metal alloy to manufacture the aeroplane, the theory of it has been given. And there are totally 33 alloys expressed. Recipes of them have been given. The process have been, have been given. With my folded hands, I request the youngsters in this auditorium or those who are not in this auditorium, but they will hear me through this electronic eyes, those who are standing in front of me. My request to them is that please refer to Brahat Vimana Shastra and copy the 11 alloy processes and try to make an aeroplane alloy useful in our country. At the moment, we have to import the aeroplane alloy. So my request to all of you is that. Now, he has not just given the process, but he has given the implements, how to make it. He talks about the melting pots. He talks about 407 melting pots, out of which which melting pot is used to for which alloy. Then to keep those melting pots in the forger, furnaces, he describes about 532 kunda, yadnya kunda or vyasatikas. Then the things are put in the kund, uh, uh, musha and the musha is kept in the furnace. Then it starts boiling and mind you, he has given a specific fuel to be ignited under the kunda and that process continues for nine hours. Nine hours. And after nine hours, when the alloy in a fluid form is boiling in that musha, it is to be carried, conveyed to the dye. How to carry it? So Maharshi Bharadwaj talks about the conveyance of carrying way and that is known as bhastrika. How to manufacture bhastrika, how to manufacture bhastrika, he has given the procedures. Again, my appeal to young, young people, young people in the field of science to come forward and produce these bhastri, bhastrikas, to produce these furnaces, to produce these mushakas for the development of not Captain Bodas, but for development of this nation. We require it. We require it. Next. Yes. Different types of materials were used not only to manufacture the aeroplane body. And you'll ask me why so many, what was the size of the mushas or kundas or bhastrikas? It used to be very big. Because the basic structure was formed, forged, and can you believe the basic structure of the few of the vimans was 60 feet by 60 feet. Or in some cases, it was over 200 feet, means you can imagine what sort of big, big, big aeroplane, jumbo. Not only for the aeroplanes, but there were 32 systems used in the aeroplane. 32 systems means like in this hall, there is a lighting system, there is a ventilation system, there is an air cooler system, this is a sound system. Like that in aeroplane, there are many, many, many systems. 